Upsells are one of the greatest ways for you to explode your revenue without having to get any extra traffic. But how do you make one that actually converts? What's up everybody? In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what an upsell is and how you can make one that converts like crazy. So what is an upsell actually? An upsell is just an additional product you're offering to someone when they're getting ready to buy a product. An upsell can just be a higher version level of what they're already buying, or it can be a different but related product to the original product they were wanting to buy. One of the main benefits to using an upsell is the person's already on your site, they're already in the buying mode, so it makes it easier to get to a yes. Also, you already did all of the hard work to get them on your site. You did 95% of the work already. They may be buying a product already, just offer them another one. So when it comes to upsells, there's really two main ways to offer your upsells. You can offer it when someone adds a product to their cart before they start the checkout process. Okay, so that ends up being called a pre-purchase upsell because it happens before they make their purchase. Now the other way to offer an upsell is when they add something to their cart, they go through, they type in all of their information, they click submit. And once they've submitted the order, then you offer them the upsell. Now this is called obviously a post-purchase upsell. It's also known as a one-time offer or a one-click upsell. So here's where it gets interesting. If you offer the exact same products in both of those scenarios, like nine times out of 10, the one-click upsell, the post-purchase upsell is going to convert higher. So one of the biggest reasons this happens is just the way people's brains evaluate the process. Our brains, despite how logical we like to think they are, really aren't that logical. So when you let someone type in all their information, submit the order, and then offer them the upsell, even if you say, wait, 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 your order's not complete, here's this offer, their brain looks at it and says, hey, this decision is done. I already bought this first product. The decision is done. So then they just evaluate the second product on its own. Whereas if you offer the upsell before, they go, okay, so here's this product. And do I want this product? Okay, there's two products. Do I need both of them? Oh, look at the price now. I don't know if I want to buy both of them. Even if they have all the same information, splitting them up, their brain evaluates it differently which changes your conversion rate. And if you actually have a product that is helping people solve the problem, you ethically probably need your conversion rate to be as high as possible. If you don't believe that, ugh, I don't know how long you're gonna be in business. I know none of that makes logical sense when you're sitting here like thinking through it. You're just like, they're paying the same price. They know they're paying the same price. Why would that be any different? I don't know what to tell you. The numbers just, they convert better. It's just how our brains are wired. So all of this is all well and good, but it doesn't matter if there's one thing wrong. And that is if your upsell does not fit with your main product. This kills more upsell conversion rates than anything. It doesn't matter if you pre-purchase, post-purchase, doesn't matter. If your upsell doesn't fit, no one's gonna buy it. And here's what I mean by fit. If you think about it, they bought this first product to solve a problem. So the only reason they would buy a different product is if it's, if they have another problem or if it's related to the first one. So one mistake people make is they make them too unrelated. Like, okay, if you're on a website and you're like, hey, I'm gonna go buy a football jersey from my favorite team. If on the next page, they just offer you something for golf, something completely unrelated, you shouldn't be like, what, the, what is that? I don't care about that. I don't care about golf. Why would I buy that? That's an exaggerated example, but people do some of the same things. The other big problem people have is they make the upsell too close to the original product to the point where 
it almost sounds like it's solving the same problem they feel they've already bought something to solve. So when you buy something, it's kind of the same as the pre-purchase, post-purchase thing. Like you click order, your brain's like, bam, check it off the to-do list, already solved that problem. Because I bought the thing that's gonna solve the problem. So if you just offer them something that's gonna solve the same problem, in their mind, it doesn't make any sense. So if you offer someone a workout program, they buy it. And then you just offer them another workout program. They're just gonna be like, but I heard I bought one, why would I get a second one? Does that mean the first one doesn't work? That's the other thing that'll pop up in their brain. Does the first one not work? Do I need to return it? So here's what you need to do to make sure your uh, upsells fit. There's two key questions you can ask. The first, does this upsell help them get the desired result from the main product faster? So the reason this works so well is you already know they're trying to solve that problem. So if you can just help them get there faster, then they're like, oh, well maybe, then that'll bump up your conversion rate. So let's go back to that weight loss example. Your first product was a workout program, okay? You sold that and you're like, hey, it's gonna help you lose 10 pounds in X amount of time. So your upsell could be a meal plan that goes with the workout program to help them lose 10 pounds in a third of the time. They're, get, they're still losing the same amount of weight, but they're doing it faster. So that means they go together well. Now, yes, obviously not everyone can buy that upsell, but it fits together really well. Let's do another example. Let's say you're selling a program that helps people with their golf swing, right? They're gonna get their swing mechanics down, they're gonna hit the ball 10 yards further. Well, one of the most important parts of that is being able to practice. So how can you help them get practice faster so they can get their result faster, get that extra 10 yards? Upsell could be a hitting net. So then they have a net, they can practice in their backyard, it gets them that result faster. Okay, does that make sense? So now that we kind of got that covered, let's go look at the second question you can ask. Second question is, does this help them get a bigger result? from the first product. So we'll go back to that workout plan example just because it's something everyone kind of easily understands. Sell them a workout plan, okay? How can you get them a bigger result? Well, you can offer them supplements. You're like, hey, this is gonna help you feel better and it's gonna help your body recover from the workouts you're doing. It goes well with it, right? Think about that. If someone's really committed to trying to lose, we'll say 10 pounds from the workout program again, and then there's this supplement that they can also take while they're working out that'll help them lose 15 pounds or 20 pounds, they're probably gonna buy it. If they're really motivated, they'll probably buy it. So let's go tweak that golf example. So you sell them a thing to a program to fix their swing, help them add 10 yards to their, to their drive. Well, the overarching goal of that, like yes, they want to add uh, distance to their drive, but their overall goal was to be better at golf. They want to lower their golf score. What else could do that? Well, you could do something for putting. So their first product helps lower their golf score because they can hit the ball farther. Now when they're in the close, they can putt better. That also gets them to the goal of having a lower golf score great product to go together. Hopefully these examples are helping you see what you could do in your business and kind of getting the wheels turning in your brain. So one thing I do want to make clear, you don't have to use both of these two questions. You can use one and if it fits one of them, that'll work as an upsell. But what you can actually do is have one question for one upsell and then offer them a second upsell with the second question. Ooh, now we're getting real crazy. All right, so hopefully now you understand how upsells work and you have some ideas kind of hopping around in your brain. Remember, an upsell is just another offer you're making to someone after they've already gone to buy a product. Remember your two questions. How can I help them get their desired result faster? 
How can I help them get more of or a bigger desired result? Now, if you have questions about like how to make an actual page for your upsell and like what actual copy to put on the page, um, I actually use scripts from a book I got and I will link it down in the description. It's a free book, you just have to cover shipping and they actually have fill in the blank scripts for what to put on your upsell page. So it's literally just say this and then your product name and a bunch of stuff like that. You can just type it out, throw it in there and it converts really well. So that'll be down in the description for you. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.